Mm. Hi and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. I've had several viewer requests for how to make cod. So I don't go in the ocean, take out my rod and go fish and hope to get a cod. I get it at the grocery store like other people. Mm. Now you can get cod fresh or frozen. I have frozen. And here is a beautiful skinless cod. This is the one we chose at. Mm, and it's so fresh and it's slightly thawed. Okay, so in here we have, oh, I have whole wheat flour because it's healthy, but you can feel free to use white flour. And I'm going to put a pinch of salt on, about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and a crack of paper on it, in it, like that. I'm going to mix it up. All right, and let's just mix it all up. Okay, now that we've mixed that up, I also have two eggs in here mixed, and I've got my burner on five, seven, and it's heating too small, and I have some lovely seasoned breadcrumbs on this plate. Okay, let's get going. So first of all, take your cod. You can cook this skinned or not skinned. It just so happens this package had it skinless, and then get all the flour lightly dusting over your cod like this and now you want to take it in the egg to coat it like this this kind of like seals in the flour and then take your breadcrumbs and go over your fish and I use butter spray in there or use oil and put your cod in there Repeat that for every piece of fish. Let me show you again. We're lightly flour, we're lightly dusting with the whole wheat flour, the cod, then we're going with the egg. And now we're doing the breadcrumbs by the fish. And I've turned the fish down to five. And we gotta do another fish. Coating the entire piece of cod. Now coating the egg seals in the flour like and then we dust it. I need more breadcrumbs. Where's the breadcrumbs? Alright. I'm gonna take our last piece of fish. And you wanna cook it three to four minutes on each side your fish. Mm. And get this coated all over. Now I'll put it on there. Now I'm going to wash my hands. Washy, washy. And I put a little faucet there to soap in it, as you can see. So, mm -hmm. right. now, remember when hitchhiking through space, always bring your towel. Yep. Now I'm gonna make sure there's enough butter on it. I'm spraying it with butter spray to give the fish added flavor and to make sure it doesn't stick. Now we're done with all these other ingredients. It's just amazing how when you cook, you, you have to do so many things. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> now, now that you've waited, I've cut, had at least three or four minutes, I'm turning the fish. Put 
three or four minutes on the other side, on five. And grab, feel free to grab your tartar, tartar sauce. Or pick whatever sauce you should like on it. I'm going to just take a bit of tartar sauce. I have two more tartar sauces in the cabinet. Well, I say that one's empty. Yeah, that one's had it. All right, we're done our fish. And my son didn't get another plate to put this stuff on. Oh, dang. Boom. All right. See how beautiful that looks? Look how beautiful that looks. Nice and crispy. Okay. And remove it from the heat immediately. If your stove is like mine, it stays really hot. Okay. Now, taste test time. Now, the cod that I purchased is boneless because I just don't like. Did you hear somebody at the door? All right. So I'm gonna get put. I wanna get get some tartar sauce on it. Put it on. And that was behind our it, house. It's hot. No, oh, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> mm mm mm. It's delicious. I don't have a knife. You shouldn't need whatever. But I like to use a knife when cutting things. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I think it's she likes delicious. it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting carried away. Getting carried away here. There you have it. Make sure the fish is thoroughly cooked when you cook it. Three to four minutes on each side or until it's done. It depends upon the thickness of your cod. The thinner, the quicker, the thicker, the longer. So give it a try. Feel free to share. Feel free to subscribe. And thank you for watching. And happy eating. Bye everybody. The fun never ends.